Hey guys, Shadows here. Welcome back to another Gears 5 video. Today we are going to be discussing a what's up in 2020 with new character skins ranked FFA and more in Gears 5. With Gears Mr. truly well underway for its first ever time in the new Gears title and the holidays approaching, TC recently shared their annually send off for the end of 2019 within the latest at Gears Weekly What's Up, detailing a summary of what we can expect after we do return in the next decade once January 2020 does begin. If you haven't had a chance to jump into this yet busy December, which by the way, if you are watching this video right now, I do hope you have a Merry Christmas and just a Happy Holidays. Gizmas 2019 is running a few festivities with important dates that you might not want to miss out on. Earnable content including the Krampus sign at character skin unlocks for getting 200 kills in free for all. The ugly sweater skin set as well also unlocked by completing 100 waves in Jingle Juvies are available until January 2nd. The Gizmas login reward pack including the bundled Gizmas Jack. Blood Spray, Mark and Banner are also up for grabs until the second as well. Then lastly there is a several free boost days where you can simply just boot up the game, sign in to acquire extra one day boosts here and there on December 25th, 26th, 31st and the New Year's Day. Moving on to 2020, the beginning of the new year, RK Blitz Double Trouble will be arriving as the next Versus Special Event game mode also on January 2nd, replacing the current FFA which hopefully means that we can expect its transition into a ranked FFA game mode playlist in maybe early January as well. Next up, the weekly store content has been announced for the following two weeks as new customization items will rotate in and out of the store by the time the developers at TC do return to the studio in the new year. What's interesting is that it seems like some of the points that I did share and just feedback that I heavily discussed in my honest opinion on the current state of the Gears 5 store video that I released just over a month ago now seems to be trickling into the game ever so slowly as pricing is a lot better. Grouping of content like a full weapon skin set which it should just be anyway but there is still a very long way to go until this aspect of the game is done right. December 24th today to December 30th the store will feature the Hivebuster Marcus character skin, Helmetless Warden character skin, Neon Glow loadout set, Omen pixel art banner and the Snowflake mark. December 31st and next week to January 6th 2020 the store will manually update to include Motopool Lizzie character skin, Cog Gear Corpse character skin, Neon Glow power set, the pixelated full set and the speech bubble mark. Lastly, the Coalition Studio signed off the WhatsApp with a look back on this year, returning on January 6th 2020 by saying the following. As we look back on 2019, the year we launched our biggest Gears game ever, we can't say anything more than thank you, seeing your reactions to the campaign, your stories about your best MP moments and your feedback positive and negative it drives us every day. Over the past few months we've been working hard to bring you new exciting features and content as we continue to iterate on Gears 5. We still have plenty of work underway to improve features that you care about, address your feedback and deliver new content that keeps Gears 5 vibrant and exciting. Next up in January, we'll have further fixes and improvements with TU4, the arrival of the Cantus character, rank free for all and the return of Osok in a brand new format. Just jumping in at the end of this video right here while I've just been editing away, the official Gears of War Twitch account went live recently, broadcasting a stream of what looks to be the inside of Marcus Phoenix's house at the Shroud family estate that we did get to visit in in Gears of War 4's campaign. There seems to be a mysterious figure that walks by from time to time, but seems to just be a Gears 5 your log right now, so if anything does change, I'll be sure to update you guys very very soon. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. What is your guys' opinion on the changes to the store in Operation 2? And which further improvements would you like to see made? So there you have it guys, full details on what's up in 2020. New character skins, ranked FFA and more in Gears 5. Give the video a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. Have a Merry Christmas. And as always, I shall see you in the next one.